My name is Birute Mary Galdikas. I am the co-founder and president of Orangutan Foundation International, OFI. Our mission here in central Indonesian Borneo, in the forests of Kalimantan, is to monitor wild orangutans so that we understand their life histories and we understand their population dynamics and also to protect them. Unless we understand them, we are not going to be able to find the best ways to protect them. We also do rehabilitation. We re Rehabilitate orangutans, captive orangutans, confiscated by the Indonesian forestry and the Indonesian police. And we raise them, we bring them back to health if necessary. And then once they are old enough and have enough practice building nests, finding fruit in the forest, we return them back to the wild and their habitat. That's the other thing. You cannot protect orangutans. You cannot protect wildlife unless you protect their habitat and the ecosystems in which they have evolved and which they live. My name is Ruth Linsky. I'm from Canada. I'm a PhD student at Simon Fraser University, and I'm here doing research with Orangutan Foundation International and Dr. Barute Mary Galdikas. Our goal is to find a better method to count orangutans. They're extremely difficult to count in the wild, and the method used today is counting nests. So we're using the drones to try to find orangutans in their nests at night. The DJI M30 drone is critical to this. Uh, the capabilities of it are really what's important to be able to find the orangutans. If we didn't have the drone, finding orangutans from below is takes a long time, it's really difficult. But since we're able to scan above the canopy at night with this camera, uh, it's really critical to the possibility of finding a whole new way of counting orangutans. The features of the M30T that are most helpful are being able to map, being able to survey manually, um, being able to lock onto an individual and follow them, but also being able to see in RGB and see in the thermal camera is really helpful. And we're really testing the full capabilities of the features that are available with the drone. Nama saya Evan Ekananda. Saya bekerja untuk Balai Taman Nasional Tanjung Buting dan saya bertugas untuk pemantauan aktivitas wisatawan yang masuk ke Taman Nasional Tanjung Puting. Setiap tahun Balai Taman Nasional Tanjung Puting melaksanakan monitoring populasi orang hutan. Keberadaan teknologi drone yang di M30 ini dengan thermalnya itu bisa sangat menjadi tambahan yang sangat berguna bagi pemantauan populasi. Selain itu juga akan sangat bermanfaat dalam pemantauan pergerakan si orang hutan itu juga to see how effective this method is using drones. I mean, it has amazed me. I'm, I'm still amazed by what I saw on the screen. What the drone was actually, both thermal, amazing, and just amazing. I hope that it will advance the methodology and the science of counting wild animal populations. What we are doing is we are working on the, right on the front lines of science with this drone, you know, given how advanced it is. This drone represents the latest technology in terms of software and also hardware and technology. Without this drone, we probably would not be able to do the groundbreaking work that we are doing in estimating to a degree of precision, not possible before, concerning the wild orangutan population in the Tanjung Puting area. We need to know how many individuals there are in the population, we need to understand the population dynamics. We need to understand the demographics before we can actually implement conservation methodology and techniques that will help save orangutans from extinction. Without this understanding, we cannot go forward. We thank DJI and Halo Robotics for allowing us to make this possible.